What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bringing another Corvette video today and we we're kind of jumping in in the middle here but that's all right. I'm gonna get you guys up to speed. Doing a lot to the Corvette today. We've got a short shifter kit going in. We already replaced the windshield weather stripping. Cole's working on wiring up a new radio for it right now so... So this is the interior currently, got the center console and all that out, got the stock radio, stock HVAC system out, the stock shifter is out, and like I said, the weather stripping has already been replaced. So this is the weather strip we just took off, you can see that big tear there, it would always leak water into the driver's side seat, so hopefully the new one will fix that. Who are you doing? Wiping my torque tube. So the shift kit came with a bunch of foam and dynamat and stuff that we just finished installing around like the tor torque tube and like around where the inside of where the shifter is gonna go. And we're a little skeptical on why you need to do all this to be honest, cause it's really not that much different from stock, but it should help with heat, I guess, and sound obviously. So we just stuffed all that in there and now we're gonna install the lower box and continue with this shifter install. All right guys, it's a few days later since we installed all these parts. The Corvette is completely back together now, interior wise. New radio's in there, shifter. I'm about to drive it for the first time. I don't even think I've driven this thing on the coilovers yet. I've ridden in it, but I don't think I've driven it yet. So we've got the shifter, the coils. We're just gonna go for a little ride and see how it feels. Don't forget new tie rods and alignment. Yeah, they, that's the big <laughs> one. Honestly, the alignment, like that's huge. This thing's been aligned now after all the new suspension parts. So it should be pretty solid. Already I can tell the shifter feels so much better. It's so like precise and notchy and like, you know exactly where you're in. The, the throws are super short now, which feels really nice. That's a better one. Yeah, shifts feel real good. Nice and short, quick. Yeah, one of the big issues with before the alignment, I was telling Eric this earlier, when before the alignment, when you would churn like anything like slight, not a lot of churn, it just, it was like a lot of work and just felt wrong. And now it just feels like you're actually driving a car again. No, like no unnecessary play in the shifter at all. Before it was kind of loose. Now it's just perfectly like goes right where it needs to go. Yeah, the only the only issue now is we need to soften the dampening a little. <laughs> yeah. Which, like you said, is even for the dampening on the coilovers being all the way stiff right now, it's really not that harsh. There goes my gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this shifter feels great. So much more fun to drive with this shifter. I honestly didn't like it before just because the shifter took a lot of effort, but it was still like real loose feeling. This one's nice and smooth. I think doing the transmission fluid has also helped a ton, yeah. which is weird because Normally you don't get that just out of a transmission fluid flush. Not a flush even, just a draining fill. The shifter still has like a lot of weight to it compared to like everything else we drive. But I think that's just a Corvette thing. But yeah, like I said, it's not hard to get in any gear. And everything's precise. Short throws. Yeah, this is dope.
All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this week's video. Real quick, I wanna say thank you so much for all the love on the recent videos, all the new subscribers and comments. We just recently went over 300 subscribers, so that is awesome. Thank you so much. I've been having a lot of fun talking with everybody in the comments. There have been a lot of Miata owners coming out and just having a conversation in the comments about their cars and whatnot. So that has been a lot of fun. Got some more Miata videos on the way for you guys. And of course, whatever other projects we get into. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. But other than that, have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah.